How you treat other people is inseparable from the life you're living inside. So that means however you are doing onto others, you are also doing onto yourself. There's no separation between these. If you can't see how you're treating yourself, if you don't know how loving or caring you are with yourself, the easiest way is to see how you are with other people. When someone does something that you don't like, how do you react to them? When someone posts something or creates something you don't like, how do you react to them? How you react to other people and to the world is how you are treating yourself. And I want you to be able to be as nice and treat yourself as good as possible because when you treat yourself good, then you'll treat other people good. And I know from firsthand experience, I was very hard on other people in my life. I was not tolerant. I would very easily get mad and judge other people and look down on other people and say nasty things to other people and about other people. And that reflected my inner state of not treating myself very well. Because for every time I went and cussed someone else, every time I went and judged someone else, I judged myself several times. I cussed myself several times. And I cussed the universe generally several times. So if I'd go tell you you're an idiot, then I would go feel like an idiot a lot of times. I would be late to things and be so hard on myself. You're late. You're such an idiot. You can't get there on time. And if you see other people who are outwardly being hard on other people, you know that they're inwardly being hard on themselves also. And that promotes love and understanding because the inner and the outer world are ultimately one. Your reality is something you are creating. So if your reality is one of people who are stupid and mean and judgmental and hurtful, that's your inner reality also. And your inner reality is in dealing with yourself. That means you're judgmental, you're hurtful, you're not understanding of your own behavior. And there's a lot of suffering to be made. I think that's hell to live like that because I lived like that a lot, judging my own behavior all the time. I didn't need to wait to die until judgment day because every day was judgment day for me. Every day was a day where I was judging myself. You didn't do this very good. You didn't do that very good. And I tried to distract myself from judging myself by judging other people. Look what an idiot that guy is. Look how mean she is. Look how stupid this person is. Look what a bad mother that person is. And so I'd try and distract myself from judging myself by judging others. But every time you point out and judge someone else, the action you are taking hurts you. When I'm in a place of loving and understanding every other person, then I can love and understand myself. It's ultimately much harder to love and understand yourself because you have so much information about yourself. You have your whole life. It's really easy to judge yourself. It's actually easier to cut other people a break. And what you'll find is if you cut other people a break, if you'll accept other people's behavior as they're doing the best they can right now, then you can do that with yourself. You can have a better inner reality. Again, I know this a lot from personal experience. Now, I tend to tolerate people in most places in most situations, whereas my default for most of my life was intolerance of most people in most situations. I now get a lot of negative feedback online, not relative to the positive feedback I get, but I get so much positive feedback that I tend to get negative feedback in greater numbers than ever also. People posting judgmental and critical and hurtful things, and I let them hurt me. And I try and be loving and understanding with those people and saying that I hope they can be in a place where they can be loving and understanding with themselves because they wouldn't post something like that about me if they were in a place where they were loving and happy with themselves. I know because all of the times I posted negative, hurtful information online, all the people I bullied, all the nasty things I said, all the hurtful things I did, I did those because I was in hell myself. I was living a life 
that I was frustrated with, that I didn't think was right. And by doing all of those negative things, it continued to confirm. So if you want to break the cycle of depression or of being in a life you don't like, of suffering, then the easiest way to do it is to gut other people a break. Because it's easier to forgive other people than it is to forgive yourself. I know it was very hard to forgive myself for all of the things I'd done. I was surprised how easy it was by comparison to forgive someone else. Someone else who does something hurtful, I can forgive them and say, oh, they're having a bad day or maybe their wife was mean to them and they took it out on me or maybe I did something to provoke them and they did it back to me. It's okay, I would like to go give that person a hug. It's easier to do that than it is to look at all of the bad things I've done and to say, it's okay. You did your best. It's okay what you did before because you don't have to do it again. And honestly, looking at yourself and all the things you've done without judgment, then you don't have to do them again. If you look at yourself and say, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I was a bad person. You will likely continue to be a bad person. And there's no actual good and bad people. You will continue to feel like you are a bad person. You will continue to repeat the same mistakes until you forgive yourself for the ones you've made. I made the same mistakes in different ways over and over again until I forgave myself. I looked at what I'd done and I forgave myself. Because ultimately, forgiveness is divine. Forgiveness is a gift given by the universe. And everyone is better off if we can all forgive ourselves and then try and accept people as they are. It takes a lot of the world to be loving and understanding in order to handle everyone that's having a hard time. In fact, if there's a whole village, if a few people are having a hard time, it takes a whole village of loving, understanding people to help out a few people who are having a hard time. And there's a lot of us in humanity who are having a hard time today. So the best thing you and I can do to love our neighbor is to love ourselves, is to love who we are and not love who we are in the sense that I'm greater than everyone else, I'm better, I'm more spiritual, I'm more good looking, whatever. To love ourselves and to say it's okay who I am today and I'm grateful to be who I am today. So it's all one. If you can love your neighbor, you can love yourself. If you can love yourself, you can love your neighbor. So do whatever's easiest for you today. I share this because ultimately you are my neighbor. So I am trying to share my love for you because then that shares my love for me. And I can be the best I can be today for all of the people in my life. So I'm honored you're here on this journey with me. I appreciate every second you've spent watching or listening to this. And I hope this is useful for you in having a great day. I pray today that I can always love other people and love myself. I pray that in loving other people, that then I will receive love in return. And that I can always be willing to give more love than I receive. And the more love I give, the more I will receive. So I will have to work harder each day to give more, to get more in return. So thank you.